Welcome to Medscape Morning Report. Onset of type 1 diabetes after age 30 years is common, but given that the overwhelming majority of adults with new onset diabetes will have type 2 diabetes, perhaps we can be forgiven for often misdiagnosing type 1 patients at presentation. Previous research has found that type 1 diabetes is nearly as likely to occur after the age of 30 as it is in younger people. Recognizing adult onset type 1 diabetes at presentation can be like trying to pick a needle in a haystack. The prevalence of overweight and obesity is as high among patients with type 1 diabetes as in the general population, making it even more difficult to identify these patients. This current study involves 600 adults with diabetes who were diagnosed in a primary care practice. Type 1 diabetes was eventually identified in 20% of this group. One key sign that identified from this study is that rapid deterioration in glycemic control despite the use of oral glucose-lowering medications can be a sign of type 1 diabetes. A rapid increase in the insulin requirement was also highly predictive of late onset type 1 diabetes with 84% requiring insulin within one year. Over half developed severe endogenous insulin deficiency consistent with type 1 diabetes, but 47% of patients with severe insulin insufficiency claimed that they had type 2 diabetes. Compared to the group with younger onset type 1, this older onset group was similar in terms of BMI, autoantibody positivity, and genetic risk scores. In contrast, they differed markedly from those with type 2 diabetes diagnosed after age 30 years with lower average BMIs, a higher likelihood of positive islet antibody tests, and higher type 1 diabetes genetic risk scores. Adult onset type 1 diabetes patients shouldn't have to wait for ketoacidosis to be recognized. If a patient with presumptive type 2 diabetes deteriorates by good adherence to aggressive oral treatment, rethink the diagnosis. 